Good evening, folks. What's going on there? It is uh, Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, late Monday evening. It is March 22nd, 2021 is the date. 9.02 p.m. West Coast time and the uh, latest quake out here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a uh, 2.9 earthquake or uh, 2.5, sorry, up here in Alaska region. A little bit of uh, uptick in earthquake activity. Over the last 24 hours along the Kermadec Trench area, you can see some major deep movement and some shallow quakes as well. Also some activity ramping up in the North American continent there. Checking out the uh, latest quake map here on the USGS scale. We'll get into the uh, North American earthquake activity first. Shows that all magnitude quake here, uh, all magnitude quakes here on this map, Oklahoma and areas around the uh, Missouri and Illinois area getting some microquake activity around the new Madrid fault system as well. Just a couple of small microquakes. Well, I wouldn't say they're microquakes, but 2.4, 2.3 on that uh, magnitude scale there at about uh, seven and nine kilometers below the surface. Uh, kind of watching that area pretty closely. Uh, Oklahoma seeing a little increase in earthquake activity scattered around the state west of Oklahoma City and up around uh, the Inid area. And also down south, looks like around the Ardmore area as well. Hoping to get out there pretty soon for some storm chasing. Texas, Pecos, Texas area, seen a little uptick in activity over the last couple hours. We've seen uh, oh, about nine earthquakes or so. Largest in that sequence of quakes being a 3.1, a couple 3.1s there. Uh, ramping up out there in the desert south of the New Mexico border. Uh, western part of the United States area, looking at uh, an increase in earthquake activity in the south part of the state. Uh, San Diego getting in on the action, 2.6 off the coast of San Diego. A couple of fault systems out here that could produce uh, some moderate sized quakes there. We haven't seen a whole lot of activity out there, uh, but that could certainly change there with all the uh, pressure and whatnot being applied out here along the west coast. Have to keep an eye on that uh, pretty closely. Also, low earthquake activity up the close near uh, up the coast near the uh, San Clemente area, and into the uh, jungles of Los Angeles, right around the uh, Inglewood area. 1.4 microquake there, at about 9.2 kilometers below the surface. Uh, other than that, no swarms to report in the Salton Sea area, Ridgecrest area, and Mammoth Lakes in Nevada. All seen about average background earthquake activity, and uh, nothing really to report in the Pacific Northwest couple small microquakes up here in the creek in this little creek area um, other than that really nothing to report as far as volcanic activity a couple small microquakes along the uh, uh, Intermountain West region stretching from Montana in the portions of Idaho down into the uh, Yellowstone area all these quakes here on the micro uh, microquake scale um, far as the rest of the globe goes, very, very quiet out here along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Um, like I mentioned, there's been a back-to-back -back double tap uh, earthquake activity <laughs> along the Kermadec Trench area. Check out these back-to-back uh, -back quakes. They're kind of odd, right? Two, 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 two. Lots of twos there uh, striking the area. It's just kind of odd to see that type of activity. Some of these are very deep, move, uh, very deep earthquake activity. There's uh, 556 and, uh, kilometers and also 548. And guessing that these are going to be shallow quakes, right? A little bit shallower than these deeper quakes here. That's kind of obvious given that uh, we're seeing that subduction zone here, the Tonga Trench area, um, underneath quite a bit of uh, pressure. Deep movement over here to the west, more shallower quake towards the trench area up to the surface. Uh, down here should be the same, but... Uh, yeah, what do we got? 10 kilometers for that one. 10 kilometers still for that one as well. Uh, 5.0 near the Kermadec Islands. Uh, moving down around the New Zealand area. 10 kilometers for the 5.1 on the North Island. A little bit deeper movement here, folks, inland. This is the area that I've been talking about in my last couple of videos there about the potential for a, a mega quake in the uh, New Zealand area along the Hikarangi Trench area. This is a area that uh, hasn't seen a... Uh, a lot of pressure release in, in quite some time. Uh, quake possibility is um, the magnitudes are very high in this area, which would ultimately produce a, uh, a tsunami 
in this region. It's been quite a while since it's happened. Um, I do have an update video, or I do have a video on my channel explaining a little bit more about the Hikarangi Trench in the New Zealand area, North, North Island area. Uh, it's something to watch very closely since we're getting this deeper movement inland um, west of the Hikarangi Trench area. It's something to watch pretty closely, folks. Just be on guard out there in the New Zealand area. Um, a few earthquakes up here along the China area, Himalaya Mountains. Uh, a couple moderate-sized quakes up around the 5.0 magnitude level and some more earthquake activity in the Greece region with a 4.4. Other than that, Iceland area not showing a whole lot of movement in the earthquake department. For that, we would have to go either to the uh, EMSC website or the Icelandic uh, Meteorology Society uh, page, but we'll go with the EMSC. These guys are not reporting anything in the Iceland area as of right now. So uh, Yellowstone National Park, looking at uh, pretty quiet activity, no swarming to report. Looks like things have calmed down for the most part there in the uh, in that uh, beautiful area of the uh, United States. Of course, a super volcano waiting to uh, blow its top there sooner or later. Uh, what do we got in the uh, Pacific Northwest far as the trimmer department goes? Go ahead and pull this page up here, kind of a uh, slow loading for some reason. Just a couple, just a, this is kind of odd here, just a couple small trimmers in an area where activity is normally minimal. Uh, and when I say that, when it comes to trimmer, we're normally seeing uh, increases in trimmer, um, trimmer movement up here to the north, uh, northern Oregon, Washington, up in the Vancouver Island area, south of this region here into uh, parts of... Uh, Southern Oregon, which would include Medford, South of Eugene, um, into Northern California. This activity here is just kind of an area, this area northward uh, is an area where we don't see a whole lot of trimmer. Uh, but tonight we're kind of seeing just a small little increase there. Uh, it's something to take note of. Uh, I've always believed that uh, with the amount of trimmer that's building up here to the north and to the south of this region, all that stress is building up here in the center. Uh, where, where I believe firmly that we're going to see the next mega quake happen um, just off the coast of, of, of uh, Central Oregon area. There's not going to be a spot to be when that thing does decide to unzip uh, just because of the dynamics of the trimmer, the slip, all the pressure along the North American plate and the Juan de, Fu uh, Juan de Fuca plate kind of uh, just points to this area off the coast of Oregon, Central Oregon, uh, for that potential mega quake there along the Cascadia. Um, what else we got here? Not a whole lot going on, folks, in the solar. It looks like they've uh, uh, lowered the threat a little bit as far as that CME impact. There's a couple of th um, solar sunspots popping up there, 2812 and 2811, with a 10% chance of a sea flare. Other than that, uh, just a low probability of a, a solar flare threat. Uh, three-day geomagnetic forecast shows the probabilities of the auroras uh, kind of low for the moment but the threat is still there the aurora forecast there showing the uh, potential uh, for the aurora bore borealis in the higher latitudes green on the kp index right now but kind of a little bit elevated over the last hour or so um, you can see that little elevated green bar there but uh, for now kind of just some calm conditions all right, folks, hope you guys enjoy your Monday evening. I'm going to jump off here and uh, probably call it a night. Hope everyone stays safe out there, and we'll chat at you guys sometime tomorrow. Peace out.